Hello everyone, welcome to LRA Prep. So here we have the question number three of slow to DILR colored beet. Let's have a discussion on it. Hope you have seen the first two videos. Let's straight away go and see the solution of the question. Question number three says, what is the minimum number of blue beads in any configuration? See that it says it is a five into five matrix that we have that we already know and the number of colored beads that we can use is red, blue and green. Now the important word here is minimizing the number of blue beads, right? Condition we know that between two blue, there has to be at least one green. Between two red, there has to be at least one green and blue. And then two adjacent cells should not have the same color bead. Now our concentration should be on minimizing the blue bead. Now it's, it's fixed that total number of red plus green plus blue beads that we will be using will be 25 for sure, right? This is fixed. If I want to minimize it, right? Logically, you'd be sh you should be thinking, if I want to minimize it, I need to maximize the red and green, right? I need to maximize the red and maximize the number of green beads. Okay, then, uh, then there are also some condition here that between two blue, there has to be one green and between two reds, there has to be one green and blue. That means if I increase the number of red beads, right? I will be using my two cells will be occupied right you see that logically you see total number of cells are 25 right in a 5 into 5 matrix total number of cells are 25 if i am trying to use the maximum number of green more uh, green beads right between any two greens i need to place blue right uh, so that two adjacent should not be same but then you see that maximizing the number of green beads will utilize three total beads right because two greens will be occupied and one will be occupied with the blue but if i use the maximum of the red beads right agar main red beads ko maximum number of time use karunga to mere total number of cells jo use honge wo four cell use honge pure 25 cell mein se is combination ke liye four cell use honge jisme blue ek hi bar aayega right then you need to think in this direction कि अगर इसको मिनिमाइज करना है देन यू नीड टू मैक्सिमाइज इट एंड व्हिच ऑप्शन शुड बी द राइट वन शुड आई बी मैक्सिमाइजिंग द रेड वन्स और शुड आई बी मैक्सिमम विद द ग्रीन वन यू नीड टू मेक द केसेस टू बी ऑनेस्ट राइट सो लेट्स ट्राई टू मेक अ केस कि अगर मैं रेड को मैक्सिमाइज करता हूं इफ आई यूज द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ रेड बीड्स देन ऑटोमेटिकली द नंबर ऑफ सेल्स फॉर दिस वन पर्टिकुलर अरेंजमेंट यूज्ड वुड बी फोर राइट बिकॉज़ आई नो कि बिटवीन टू रेड्स एक ग्रीन आएगा और एक बी एक ब्लू आने वाला है राइट सो फोर में से एक ब्लू आने वाला है राइट सो लेट्स ट्राई टू सी कि इसमें क्या केस बन सकते हैं एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन कि रेड को मैक्सिमाइज करना है तो प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन में हमने ये देखा था कि रेड को मैक्सिमाइज करने के लिए आपको डायगनल वाइज सारे रेड प्लेस करने हैं बिकॉज बिटवीन एनी टू रेड द कंडीशन ऑफ वन ब्लू एंड वन ग्रीन इज एप्लीकेबल ऑनली द रो वाइज एंड कॉलम वाइज सो अगर मैं सारे रेड प्लेस कर दू ओके देन आई कैन place red over here to maximize the number of red beads then uh row wise i can place red over here okay and then uh this row wise i can place red over here also column wise red is here so i can place red over here so this is the maximum number of times that you can use the red now between any two reds we need green and blue so we have already made the combination in this particular case to do the complete arrangement i need blue here blue here and blue here right and i need blue here blue here and blue here right we have already done this in the previous case so then we'll have green here green here green here green 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 right between any two reds we need blue and green right right so these are two reds blue green right red uh then can i place blue here no blue and blue will be cannot have red you need to have green so it's red here it's blue here so i can use green here only so in this particular case right if i am maximizing the usage of the number number of red beads the minimum number of times the number of times i'm using the blue bead is 6 in this case uh, in this case right not in this case red is maximized and blue is minimized right red is maximized and blue is minimized we have a uh, green Blue, blue and yes uh, this is right right so the minimum number of time blue bead is being used is 6 all right 
Now, how will we get to know that this is the least possible number of beads that you can place, right? When it comes to a minimum number of blue beads. What if it try to maximize the number of green beads? In that case, you just have to make the cases. If that don't work, then this will be the answer, right? So now let's try to go ahead with the case. If I try to maximize the number of green beads, and the condition of maximizing the number of green beads is that you need to place at least one blue, okay? So I'm placing green here, right? Green here, green here, right? Green here, green here, green here, right? Green, green, green. Between any two green, right? Uh, okay, then again to satisfy this condition, to satisfy the condition that uh, two between any two blue, there should be one green at least, right? There should be at least one green. Uh, let's also try to use maximum number of times red here. If I place red here, then the next red that can come over here, right? And then the next red can come over here, right? Okay, can I place red here? Yes, I can place red here. I can place red here, right? All right, so this is the maximum number of times you can use a red. Can I place red here? No, because between any two reds, I need green and blue. So in that case, it will be only green. So red cannot be placed here. Okay, can I place red here? No, between any two reds, we need green and blue both. Any other ways to place a red? No, right? So we have now maximized the number of green and the red color. Then uh, is it possible to make a combinations now? Let's try to see. Then you see that here, I'll be placing blue, right? Here, I'll be placing blue here, right? But then here, I cannot place blue. Okay, is it possible to place green here? Yes, I can place green here, right? For green, there is no condition that, diagonal-wise, there is no condition, okay? So try to maximize the green again. I can place green here also. So uh, I can place blue here, right? Then again, I cannot place blue here, so I can use green here, right? Then this is green, I need to place blue here, all right. Now, uh, you see that here, between two greens, I cannot place red here, so I need blue here. Between two greens, I cannot use red, so I need to place blue here. Between two greens, I cannot place red, so I can place blue here, right? Red and red cannot come together. And then this, again, I need to place blue. And this also, I need to place blue. And you see that here, between two blue, we have green. But the problem is here, between two blue, we have red color here. So this red color cannot come. So this need to be replaced by green color, right? This has to be placed by green color. Now it will satisfy between two blue, we have green. Between two blue, we have green. Okay, just check it out. That between any two blue, I'm having green. Yes, between any two blue, I'm having green. Okay, here, there's no such case. Here, column wise, between two blue, I have green. Between two blue, I have green. I don't have two blues here. I don't have two blues here. Right. Okay, so here, everything is getting satisfied. But what is the, what is the number of times you're using the blue color? Let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. Here you have seven number of blues. So therefore, this cannot be the answer because as per the question statement, I'm supposed to find out the minimum number of blue beads, right? So we have taken the cases, right? In one case, I try to maximize the number of red beads and satisfy the condition and check the number of blue beads. In that case, the, the number of blue beads used were six. And the another case, I try to maximize the green beads and check the number of blue beads. In that case, the number of blue beads was seven. Because the question is asking me to find out the minimum number of blue beads, so therefore the answer to the question would be six. The minimum number of blue beads would be six. This would be the right answer of the question. There's one more question that we are left with, and that is question number four. I want all of you to try this question, right? There's a question conditions given here. Using this placement of beads, right, in this five into five matrix, you're supposed to find out uh, to maximize the number of red beads. What is the another, more number of red beads that will be required? So just quickly go through the question, try it. I hope you will get the idea. And now I hope you must have got the idea till now and you will be able to solve this. I'll be discussing the solution in the next part of the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. LRDS Smear is a referral code for plus subscription. This is the channel for your 100% syllabus coverage of DILR and my telegram group. The link is given in the description part. And you know the benefits of joining our Academy Plus subscriptions, right? There are 3,000 hours of live classes, 1,200 hours of free classes. 
fifty five new tests every month, one on one mentorship, thirteen thousand practice questions, and thousands of live quizzes every month. And there's a scholarship test happening on twenty eighth of February. LRDS me is a referral code you can use for the free registration, and you can win the scholarship up to rupees twenty eight lakh. Thank you, and thank you, and see you in the next part.